She tried to steal thousands from taxpayers and the hammer of justice has fallen. There seems to be a weird trend that happens on the left. Often the very people they celebrate and support turn out to be hucksters. It's not a huge surprise. The Democratic Party is built around exploitation. They use issues that are important to people, like poverty, social justice, and the environment, to manipulate their emotions. Naturally, there will be con artists who sneak in and use this policy to their advantage. One such person made headlines when it was discovered she wasn't who she said she was. A prominent leader of Black Lives Matters, the left championed this woman. Even after she was exposed as a liar, now it seems like she did more than lie about her race. From the Daily Wire, the left's rejected stepchild, transracial Rachel DeLazal, the white woman claiming to be black on the inside has now been booked for welfare fraud, charges she had been faced with back in May. Diallo is accused of receiving more than $8,800 in food and child care assistance illegally between August 2015 and November 2017, reports Fox News. Fox News continued, the welfare fraud case started in March 2017 after a state investigator received information that Diallo had written a book or autobiography, in full color. Apostrophe the investigator reviewed Diallo's records and found that she had been reporting her income as usually less than $500 per month, court documents said. However, a subpoena of her bank statements and other records showed Diallo had deposited nearly $84,000 into her account from 2015-17, without reporting most of it to the State Department of Social and Health Services. The case file states that the money came from Diallo's book sales speaking engagements, soap making, doll making and the sale of her art. The story of Dolezal gets weirder and weirder. The white woman got in the hot seat for pretending to be black. After she was exposed, she claimed to be transracial, I think, even among leftists. That was going too far, yet she still used the situation to get famous, even selling products and a book. Yet through it all, she still collected welfare from the government. How is that even possible? If she was making money from book sales and other ventures, why would she even need welfare? Unless, she thought she could use that as some kind of proof that she's transracial? Not sure if I can even wrap my head around it. The bottom line is, we are seeing another liberal outed for wrongdoing. How often have we seen that over the years? Time and again the Democrats prove to be dishonest cheaters, yet they still claim to be morally superior than the rest of us. Kind of makes you sick, doesn't it?